What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are doing the 600 knot, 600 foot break to land on an aircraft carrier, the super carrier in the F-18 Hornet. Now similarly to my previous 500 foot break video, we are doing it based off a real um, aircraft doing this, real footage that you'll see side by side with a HUD overlay. And uh, we'll see how closely we can get it, how closely we can match it. And it should be a fantastic flying challenge because it's all about energy management, trading up that speed, pulling the G, but keeping the circuit nice and tight to try and get onto the aircraft carrier. So without further ado, let's see how close we can get it to the real thing and uh, sit back, relax and enjoy the trap. You're clear to disconnect the headset. We'll see you on the left with the pin. Thanks a lot. Alright folks, here we are. 600 knot break. Let's see if we could do it just like in the video. That guy was around, I believe he was around 650 feet, so uh, we are looking pretty good. Here comes the carrier. Let's go. Speed brakes coming out. Pull in the G. Just passing 90. Pulling a lot of G. Just releasing a little bit just to get a little bit of distance. There's the boat. Looking for 250 knots, pulling back hard again. There's 250, gears coming down. First stage flaps. Or 60 at the 90s, looking pretty good. Second stage flaps, cage the hut. out nicely. She is fast it's slightly one seven miles is good. Quite difficult to make out the center line when the deck is wet. Bit of a crosswind as well. Pulled it. Master caution get cancelled. Nose wheel steering in high. And uh, we'll use the marshallers here. We'll pretend that uh, they are actually marshalling us. We'll be pretty cool once they're actually doing that, but currently, unfortunately, uh, not a thing in the supercarrier, even though we've had it for a long time. Uh, the rain effects are pretty awesome, though. FPS is dropping a little bit though, and it's always with the uh, the reflections of the of the deck here is what I think makes it run a little bit slow. Even with my super powerful 3090, um, still getting a little bit of trouble. Rain effect is uh, pretty amazing, though, to be fair. Not that I have any idea what that means, but 
anyway. Uh, all bugs can come off. First engine can get shut down. And Flight controlled. Flight controlled. Get rid of all that. I'll put up the canopy. It's going to be a rating, so that'll be very nice. We get wet here in a second. Alright folks, that's it. Um, I mean, I think we've managed to do it not too bad. Um, it is very difficult to judge the center line of the deck when it's wet. And actually, real life, when you're taxiing around in an airplane, um, and the, the ground of the tarmac is wet like this, uh, it's so difficult sometimes to try to see the where the line goes. So it's kind of realistic in that sense, I feel. Um, and uh, I think the circuit was pretty good. I think we traded off um, all that energy with some GM. It wasn't perfect. Um, but I think we made it not too bad. Uh, rolled out pretty much on the glide that we needed to. Uh, just dro had to drop it around closer to the end, I feel, just to chop the power, just to get it on. Uh, so, uh, And in case you're wondering why it didn't give us a wire, uh, I think it's because right now it thinks it should be a case 3 recovery, which it, I don't think it should be. It's just because it's raining, but actually the cloud base is like 2,000 plus feet. Um, and uh, there's nice gaps here, as you can see. Uh, so I, I don't think this should be case 3, uh, it should be a case 1, but um, the simulator thinks it's case 3, which is why it's uh, it's not giving us, you know, pro not, we didn't do the proper communications, which is why um, uh, it, uh, it decided not to give us the wire. The the circuit was flown not too bad, I think it'd be interesting to overlay it with a real thing and see how we got on. Uh, if you fancy doing this challenge yourself, highly recommend it. Uh, it is uh, really good fun, it's all about trading your energy and G, but also uh, trying to get the circuit right so you can uh, so you can do it uh, and roll out, you know, pretty much bang on uh, about 0.6 to 0.8 miles. Yes, works pretty well. So, anyway, uh, good luck with that, and uh, hopefully for now, if you could subscribe for future videos, and uh, I'll catch you then. Adios.